control. <coughs> but as I go into the lunge, what happens is my pelvis tilted. And that's not going to help us get into our core. So we're going to come back a little bit. And you're going to think of tucking your pelvis under. So practice that tilt. The same tilt you're doing here. Tuck, untuck, tuck, untuck without moving your rib cage. Do that while you're in this lunge here for a second. Untuck, stick your butt up, tuck, stick your butt under. Right, so feel that motion. And if you have the mirror, you're just making sure that the chest doesn't move with it. That you can adjust your pelvis in space. Second thing is to visit yesterday. What about this? If you can look and already see that your rib cage is sitting three inches in front of your pelvis in this move, what will we do? Bring it back. Bring it back like there's an imaginary wall that goes up behind you, see? And you just beep. So see if you can bring your pelvis, tuck and untuck your pelvis, and then maybe move your rib cage around a little bit. Also, look to the mirror and see if you can get your shoulders to line up over your hips. It might be that you're actually leaning forward. If you're leaning forward, you might just have to like bring your torso upright a little bit. But watch that you're not arching back, more like you're, you're sliding back. Same thing we were on the wall yesterday, this one. Right, bringing the rib cage back. Tuck your pelvis, so the rib cage is back, the pelvis is tucked. For the rest of this move, your pelvis and your rib cage are going to stay on the same axis. They're not going to move relative to each other. Keeping your pelvis tucked, like really tucked under. Now try to shift forward. Try to shift forward while you're tucking under at the same time. While your chest is staying back over your pelvis. What do you feel? Yeah, the back leg now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now go back to how you were doing before. Right? It's right back to this again. Ooh. Right? It's, it's kind of pushing, it's allowing everything to go as one unit. So we're really minding the stability of our torso. And what you should feel is that back leg a lot more. And breathe. Put your hands on your pelvis too, and make sure one side is behind the other. So you might have to twist. So we're starting to uh, use the core in a more stabilized way. Our first lunge looked more like this. And now we've got it more like the core is not being affected by what my lower half is doing. All right, you're going to switch sides. Quick practice, tucking and untucking. Do a tuck and untuck, and then after you've found the tuck position, play with your rib cage, sliding forward, coming back, sliding forward, coming back, which is different than leaning forward and coming back. It's really just the rib cage moving underneath you, and once you have that, so you're kind of tucked under, your shoulders are sitting above your hips, use the mirrors to help you find that, and then you'll, you'll move forward. Like you'll feel usually that hip now where before maybe you didn't. So I feel it right in here, the same hip. That's it. Front of the leg. There's a lot of there's there's different muscles that can be this can be your it's a hip flexor is a group of different muscles that attach that attach to different places. So you've got something between the pelvis and the femur, something between the rib cage and the femur, something between the pelvis and the shin. So there's three different things that can be uh, what's affecting your particular core. This would be two of them, like this could be your iliacus, it could be your psoas. I'll, I'll give you a quick test to help you see whether or not it is your rectus femoris, it's one of your quadriceps. So go back to the first leg. Make sure that your pelvis isn't twisted, so keep it straight on. What you're watching is your rib cage being over your pelvis, not out. Tucking your pelvis a little bit and coming forward, making sure there's not a twist. So if you put your hands on the front of your pelvis, you'll want to see if one of the hip bones is in front of the other hip bone. And if it is, you want to twist back towards that knee. 